Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, two new methods uh, about digital mammography that uh, improve uh, the efficacy of mammography uh, above all in uh, dense breasts, where we have most uh, of the difficulties in looking at the lesions. So um, breast homosynthesis is the first uh, new tool uh, uh, that I'm going to speak about. Um, is essentially is a, a modification of a, a digital, conventional digital mammography using an X-ray search moving uh, up to the breast that is compressed in a craniocaudal or oblique uh, position. So we acquire a, a different layers of the, of the, um, uh, of the breast uh, using every time the movement of the X-ray search uh, that can be linear or circular, like in this way. So we obtain um, a large number of uh, very thin sections of the breast, uh, of, uh, of the images of the breast, uh, and there is a system, uh, an, um, algor a mathematical algorithm, uh, just like uh, uh, the same that we use in CT acquisition, and uh, we produce images uh, taking information of every layer of the breast. So with this method, we can, uh, we can uh, eliminate or reduce uh, the overlapping images, just uh, uh, removing information of uh, the objects that are up or down to the layer that we, um, that we focalize, the, on which we focalize the, um, the acquisition. So we obtain many very thin images uh, near to each other, and we can view at them individually or in a cine mode, and we obtain images uh, um, that improve the visualization of single lesions without, without overlapping. And this is very important in dense, uh, dense breasts, where we have most difficulties, uh, most of the difficulties with mammography. There is a clinical trial, multicentric clinical trial, um, in which they um, uh, use the a normal uh, uh, full-field digital mammography uh, and the, uh, the same one with the tomosynthesis. We can acquire with the, the same exposition the exam in a conventional way or uh, with the tomosynthesis. And they, they showed the, an, incre an increase in sensitivity and specificity with a reduction of recall rate for this patient. The second, uh, uh, the second um, tool about uh, about um, uh, digital mammography is uh, um, dual energy contrast enhanced uh, digital mammography that is a, essentially a normal digital mammography that we acquire before and after contrast media injection, intravenous contra uh, contrast media injection. That is the same one of, uh, uh, that we use in CT, uh, iodate uh, contrast media. So we have craniocaudal and oblique views of the, of the breast, then we inject contrast media. We wait for two minutes, then we acquired at different uh, energies uh, two uh, images on craniocaudal view, then we wait two, uh, two minutes again, and then we acquire two images with different energies, low dose and high dose, on oblique view. All these images produced after uh, contrast venous injection are reconstructed and subtracted. So we obtain images given information on enhancing lesion. So we are going to look for small lesions uh, taking contrast like we do somewhere in, a, in, a, in a MR imaging and CT imaging. And so in this way, we improve again uh, uh, mammographic sensitivity and specificity in dense breasts.